All right. Welcome, everybody, to Bears and Dragons. You know, where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons! I uh, had a little break, but we're back. So, somebody tell me what happened last time to the Wayfaring Strangers. Last year, I guess this. We lost a friend and a new one. And then we coerced, coerced information out of him forcefully. <laughs> Probably wasn't good on our part. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> or maybe it was for the benefit. Maybe it was yeah. a good thing. What is that? The better good? Greater good. Greater good. Uh, we questioned Jokey. He gave us pretty much everything that we already knew. Uh, we took him to the stone. No. Yeah, the stone guard. Yeah. Uh, Roderick went to talk to them, but Chad. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, did some senpoku on himself with some help from Thimbachad. Assisted suicide. Halfway murder, halfway suicide. It's all the rage in Greckle's Duke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got Cyrus it. spent the entire night studying magic spells and got an exhaustion point. <laughs> I remember. Uh, we we meet our new friend. Uh, uh, Rad. Rad. Yeah, Rad. Uh, he tells us that the Roger thing happened, that uh, we get some information out of him, I think. Um, About the dragon egg. Little, little suggestion was made. Little lot. And yeah, I just, that's all I can remember at the moment. Uh, I believe this session, the session before, you had uh, saved a Gergar uh, merchant from the docks from being assassinated. It was, it was, this, it was last session. Yeah, it was. He wants and... us to meet them. At his uh, store or something. At the oh, Shattered at Spire. I have that written down. Or I might have lied to myself. Which I do occasionally. Alright. Yep. So. So. There was no given time limit, per se, about the dragon egg, was there? No. No, t no deadlines were, were given. Just that uh, the people are looking for the dragon egg. As keepers. To uh, uh, replace Funky Boy. So you were uh, you finished up the day drinking, I believe. Uh, Syra passed out. Uh, Holly took her to her room to tuck her in. And I suppose this was like a day off, day of rest and relaxation. 
for what you can do in a semi-hostile town where the only thing that's really keeping you and your friends safe is the fact that you may struck deals with uh, the stone guard and the keepers. Okay. So it's morning time or night time now. Uh, I would say, uh, are you letting Syra sleep her, her exhaustion off? Yeah. Unless you don't want to, Syra. I'm, I am asleep. I am, I have no agency at the moment. You can wake <laughs> her up. up to my, she passed up to my crew. Uh, she a lightweight. Oh, well, it wasn't from alcohol, it was from staying up all night. I mean, well, I think you have, have a drink, but I don't think it was the alcohol that that dropped her. <laughs> Crad thinks so, because that's all he knows. Of course. Um, <clears throat> which doesn't life, know, know that you're staying up all night. But he doesn't know it was Cyrus was actually drinking water. <laughs> I will make the executive <clears throat> decision to just let her sleep, and we'll just have downtime. Till she's good. I also keep spelling uh, Worsh's name wrong. It's W E R Z. There's no T. Keep calling him. Keep calling him the. Calling him Worths, but it's just Wurz. I'm so sorry. So you spend the day. It, it, I mean, while Sarah is recovering. Uh, Karad, or Karad, and, uh, Lassiter, uh, doing anything? Kind of hanging out? Yeah, like, kind of, like, laying low, drinking a little bit here and there, every once in a while, like, every once in a while, I'll just grab one of my, like, go into my pouch and grab one of my jerky and just kind of, like, Munch on it. Um, I'd like to talk to Karad for a second. Sure. Wherever he may be. Probably in the bar. Oh, yeah, of course. I'd go there. <laughs> uh, so, I walk my way over to the bar. It's like, yo, Karad. What? No, I, I wasn't doing nothing. Well, I didn't think you were doing anything. Good, because I wasn't. Okay. You... Are you sure? You you seem a bit, uh... Suspicious. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Anyways, uh... Would you know... Would you happen to know anything about, uh... The religion around here? Which one? Just, there's not there's not one like set religion here. Everyone is able to practice what they wish. What's the most say famous one? Well, that 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 is very much a. Um, That kind of that kind of feels like a hot button issue, due to the fact that like, you, it's all depending on who you ask. If you ask more of a store guard, they give you one answer. But um, some of the other races, if you ask more of the other races, it might be a different answer. What's your religion? Well, I'm not. Do you have one? Are you a man of God? What? Wait. Damn, not God. Are you a, a man of uh, Baal? <laughs> My bad. Oh, you're 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 talking about a specific God. Yes, a bunch of gods. You could say a man of God. Just it being a God in general doesn't necessarily mean a specific one. I'd like to believe that. Last, but if you're not. trying to go directly towards yours, then sure. Um, can I roll a religion check to see if 
my part of that? Because I'm guessing it might be a little bit different with the underground compared to, like, the underground compared to the yeah, prime go land. Yeah, go ahead and, and, and roll a religion check. I'm not sure how well versed you would necessarily be. Uh... Passing glance? Kind of, like, generalized? Yeah, it might have been something somewhere around. Uh, did it, you, you, you heard of it? Uh, you, you, I mean, uh, Semper Todd has mentioned uh, one, uh, like, his god. If you, he really had a god, he didn't really actively worship or anything. But he's mentioned Tiamat and has talked. And if maybe you've, maybe Bahama has come up as, as, as her her good bluey brother, but not much. You're you're aware it's a dragon god. Yeah. Like, yeah, flat beyond, glanc- beyond that, not really sure. Glancing knowledge, like Tembertar talked about him once. I think I made it maybe read it in the book once. I'm not sure like that I know of him, but not what he is about. Yeah, I, I would feel that it, Dwargar and Dwarves which, like, have similar gods? Uh, kind of. Uh, most of it, there is kind of a separation. There is different god, primary gods for Dwarves and then there are Durgar because Durgar is more of these lowers like Rudigar is not worshipped by, by surface Dwarves at all. Um, uh, so the Pantheons are kind of split between the two. Uh-huh. I wonder if there's a thing called, like, Google to help me out with that. Possibly. <laughs> there is. It's called a DM. <laughs> um. Well, uh. My main goal was to get you to talk about something, and that was the first thing that popped up. Um. Um. Most like I guess if I I personally um if I had to um choose a god, it would be a Ludgar, the Dwarven god of God of Crafting. Um, just because you know that's my whole thing, and I'm very much a forge forger. Would you say you like banging on things? On <laughs> and yeah. No comment. <laughs> um, he just uh, nudges your uh, elbow a little. Like, I, I'm, I'm just kidding. Like he 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 is like, Crad is ripped. <laughs> like remember the picture? Like he he works out. Like he's he spent a lot of time at the forge. Yeah, and it shows. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, trying to figure you out. Uh, have a drink on me. Uh, don't mind if I do. Linda! Her name is Linda, the bartender. (laughs) (laughs) Um, um, bring us two L's, please. You uh, see her pour uh, one ale and then grab a mug from like underneath the keg, keg, and then bring two mugs over. Both of them are full, filled with liquid. Is your okay. passive perception? Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, I'll shove one over to. Cat, her, her, dick, Karad, my bad. Um, say Which one do you, sh- do you move over to Karad? Whichever one was not closer to me. The... Okay, so you move the one that, that she poured the L into over to, to Karad. Wait. What? Well, she poured one mug. You saw her pour a mug. And she... She took she took the mug and grabbed another mug that was underneath the keg. You didn't see her pour anything into it, and she brought it over to both both of you, 
The closer one was the one she took from underneath the keg. It has a liquid in it, but you didn't see her pour ale in it, so you could assume there's ale in it. Oh. But is there ale in it? I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out what Lasser would do. Uh, Linda? Uh Who ails for you? Is is that a special brew? Is it stronger? I have no idea what you're talking about. They're the same thing. No. Did, Did what? Did one like? I don't know. Come from last night? No. Was it saved? I have no idea what you're talking about. There are two Wait ales. That. You asked for the what? ales, I gave you the ales. Drink a little bit. You you should drink some I mean, it, it tastes it. just like any of the ales that, that she's given you before. Um uh basically it tastes like water. <laughs> but the thing is is that every ale she's given you so far since you've gotten here tastes like water okay they've Am always tasted like ordinary? water you keep it you keep keep ordering ales you pay for ales just every single time you got an ale it tasted like water Okay, maybe I'm just over over reading this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll I'll drink. Mm. Like, cheers. You look at what you're drinking. God, <laughs> I just... <laughs> yes. You know what? Yeah. What is this? I want to know. Uh. Well, I'll I mean, tell... I mean, it's a dark dark mug. It's not like a the, a glass or anything. Thing, so you kind of like switch it around because touch it. Yeah. Uh, maybe like spill some on a hand or on the bar. Looks like water. I'm gonna let my paranoia get the best of me, Linda. Uh, you should take a sip of this. I'm using suggestion. Okay. Drinks it. He takes a sip and gives it back. Okay. I'll just stare at her for like five seconds. Okay. She starts going back to what she was doing. I'm sorry. We we were saying. You, you just said have a drink. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. When did you say that the liquid that I was drinking looked like ale, but it tastes like water? No, no. Uh, when you actually looked at it, and it kind of re- like it was hard. It's hard to tell when it's, it was in the mug itself, but if you spilled some or or something to actually kind of like put some in your hand, it's a clear liquid, and you're like, okay. "This is water." You're pretty sure. Th- she just gave you a mug of water. That was just me being paranoid. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just drink it anyway. Yes, she was um, not trying to poison you. <laughs> she just gave you water instead of you think it. You just you paid for ale but got water. <laughs> oh, she she charged me for the full ale. Um, well, you have a tab, uh, which I think you're running low on. Uh, and so far, she hasn't asked for any money, any additional money. So. Would I feel like I, I'm i going over it now? I mean, if she's been charged, been considering every single mug of, uh, mug of ale that you've been drinking... Uh, you're, yeah, probably one or two over. Like, you just hit over. 
Because you remember, you gave her like 10 gold at one point. I remember it. Or maybe it was gold and it was like worth 10. One gold. This is, this is a nice star, but don't you want something with a little kick in it? Uh, See, Karad, your, yours, this is yeah. some of the best dwarven ale. Oh, yeah, but still, want something with a little kick in it. I yeah. I can get the next round if that's okay. Yeah, she, she oddly gave me water. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know what to get. What's her name again? Linda. Yeah. Uh, Linda, bottle of fire belly rum. Yeah. And don't One sec. It goes off time. into the back. He's a weird lot. A couple of minutes later, uh, it says, I only sa save this when you're around. Here. He puts an entire bottle in front of you. Uh, I'll he, give your, uh... he then goes underneath the bar and puts up two two glasses. Because, uh, it seems like you could be sharing She's into it. And these are, this is glass, glass. Yeah. Have we just been drinking all out of like mugs? Yeah. So it's, I mean, when it comes to ale, she just serves in in these like dark steins. Fancy. Okay. And then yeah, I'll hand her a uh, three gold. This is her. This is only two gold, but thank you. Quite Help you get more in stock for next time. So then I'll go ahead and uh pour some cups and like here we go. That's like that's like a fire it's, in your belly. It's it's you know like a um uh, uh, uh Captain Morgan. Uh, it looks kinda like that except it it has this more of a reddish hue to it. Um, uh, as usual, cheers to the lunch. <laughs> Gulp. All right, uh, uh, Karad, I want you to make me a Constitution saving throw at advantage. And uh, Lasher, I want you to just make me a regular Constitution saving throw. Wow. Okay, it, it's fine. It wasn't necessarily a hard DC. Um, Laster, it burns. It burns as it goes down your throat. It, it it's just, when you taste it, you're like, why is this so hot? It tastes exactly like water. But for some reason, it just burns. Uh, Crad, it goes down quite smooth for you. And you're, oh. you're like, yeah, yeah. You feel That's the heat, the but to you, just, it's just wah. That's kiss. That 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 get some hell in your chest now. Uh, uh, Lassiter, you uh, can't help but uh, give a cough, and you see a little smoke come out. First time with the fire belly. Yeah. Quite, uh, oh. quite something. You'd probably see a bit of disappointment on his face. Uh, what, what? What's wrong there? Uh, that it's nothing. Um, hey, what's your weapon of choice? A lot of fireball. Like a little fireball. You'll like, uh, you'll like, uh, Styra. She's still sleeping, but you'll like her. Hey, Fire is my weapon of choice. Gold little, a, uh, gold soul, your, uh, gold, uh, pseudo dragon comes, uh, crawling down your arm, Lassiter, onto the, onto the counter. It goes up to, to the, uh, to the, uh, little leftover of uh, rum that's in there and just lifts at it. You want some little one. 
you get this Before. little sensation of of give him more please <laughs> I'll pour some in the glass again uh he he uh uh gives a little lick then he kind of like nudges it towards uh, uh Lassiter he does his little pour me a cup and just go hey here we go another round uh yeah the lunch <laughs> All right. Um, same. It seems to be like uh, the same thing. Uh, the uh, gold su the suitor dragon climbs back up your arm, uh, lasser up to your to your um, up onto your uh, neck, um, and uh, it seems like his tail is doing something at the back of your neck. Is it tickling? No, nope, it is. It seems to be wrapping around the, something. Wait, oh. Is that the necklace? Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, <laughs> no he, he, gonna... <laughs> peeks, he peeks around, looks at you, and this your shooter drag is up to no good. <laughs> Uh, uh, don't worry about him. Here, another round. Okay. Uh, this is a bit odd. He's usually um, discouraging me. But, um, okay. Yeah, sure. Or another, another round of drinks. As you lift the glass up to your mouth, Lassiter... There's a little click, and the uh, your amulet falls off. You you put it up to your mouth, and it, 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 this is like so quick. This like I'm talking about this in slow motion. It, you put it up to the mouth. It goes in. It burns, but there's this fiery burning, absolutely gorgeous flavor of alcohol of actual rum this spice it's got a, a beautiful heat can't help but let it go down your throat throat it burns but it's such that that feeling that you've been aching for for the longest time <sighs> Uh, you can't breathe. Oh, shit. Yeah. <gasps> it's so good. It, you start coughing and hacking. Uh, you suddenly get this enormous headache. I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. That one. Oh, that's 20. Or 20. That. You... You're just everything goes white for a second, and then you feel this prick at the back of your neck, and things start to clarify, and you feel like you're just hit. Wait a minute, you know this spell the Greater Restoration spell. All of a sudden, you're fine but it's like everything's a little cloudy and just a little blurry Karad's just oh you're really drunk <laughs> yeah you oh. definitely got hit by that um you you're you're pretty sure you got hit by by a restoration spell Based off of what was happening, it seemed like the stinger, because a pseudo dragon has a little stinger in his tail. The stinger is what hit you at the back of the neck. Uh, and, and it must have negated a whole swath of this backlog of drunkenness. Cleared up 
most of the poison. But based off of how everything is happening, that dragon scale suppresses the the results of of uh, drinking alcohol. It's rid of the taste. But as you drink, it doesn't go away. Build so up. you were initially hit by how the equivalent of how many beers of alcohol that you've had since you got in that scale to right now. And basically what the pseudo dragon did was reduced it back down. But you're ready to pass out at this point. Despite the fact that you were holding yourself together, uh, if you drink any more of this, you are definitely going to start hurling and probably just pass out on the floor. You you look at you doing all right there? Um, he, he's just holding the uh, remainder of what was what's his glass. The uh, uh, pseudo dragon uh, actually was the the amulet. You kept that like inside your shirt, right? Yeah, yeah. He kind of like climbs into your shirt. <laughs> And you're like, well, what's going on? And he kind of com comes out. He's got the, in his mouth, he's got the uh, dragon scale. And he just kind of climbs out and just kind of like jumps down onto the to the counter and just lays it on, on and just kind of curls up. Looks at you and grins. You little shit. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a little bugger. Oh. Um, I, I imagine he looks pretty wasted um i think i'm gonna go take a nap really oh. yeah only you, we haven't even been drinking that much uh you're you're right but let's let's get let's keep the party going and an orc comes up the steps, uh, looking around. Ron! Is it Ron? Yep. He, okay. he comes on over and says, Uh, you're not looking so good. Nonsense. Um, come! Get it? Take a drink with us. I'm sure you can chug, chug this whole entire thing. Oh, wait, wait now, wait. This has to be chair. You don't chug this drink. Oh, what do chair. you got there? Fire barrel with uh, fire barrel warm. Wow, that came out weird. Fire belly rum. It's he, he grabs a glass in front of Lasseter, fills, fills it up. Cheers, cheers, Karad. Or Karad. Keep saying cheers. Karad. The two A's make me want to say ah. <laughs> eh, ah, eh. <laughs> and, and he just shoots it back and he goes, oh. <laughs> and a little bit of smoke comes out of his mouth. Wow. That's strong. Another. Jorgar specialty. Pour another one and pour one for myself. Um, you forgot one. Oh, hold on. He kind of leans over the bar, or Ron leans over the bar, grabs a another glass. Ron, that's rude. Pour one for you. That's one of them. <laughs> pour, pour him one. All right. He he shoots another one. Last year, I needed to make me a Constitution right. saving throw at disadvantage. Burns. It burns. Oh, wow. The, why is the room spinning? Uh, uh, you don't look so good. 
you look amazing. I, I bet. Uh, whoa, this, this is definitely kind of strong. I'm already starting to slur my words. You, uh, you, and he starts poking you, Krat. You, 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 you don't seem well. Or you would like this. You, you've had a lot of this stuff. I mean, it's expecting. Are you one? He's still he's still kind of poking at you, but he's now poking at you. But you feel, it, but it, it's more of like feeling the muscles that you have. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's this mischievous grin that comes up Crad's face or not uh, Ron's face. Say wait, what? And it says. Uh, he puts his arms around both of you. Uh, I don't suppose threesome would be in order for the three of us. Lasser is down. He's showing it, but he can't say it right now. <laughs> Lasser is like <laughs> she's kind of like in a daze. He's a little wobbly. So. Even though Prad's a Dwargar. Mm -hmm. Red cheeks, like, oh my god. What? Huh? Uh, it's a party in my room. You, you, you feel him kind of mis just kind of gently massaging your 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 shoulder. He he's definitely and it, that it kind of goes down your back. And that's when uh, I will slip away. Like, oh no, 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 no! That, uh, not, not right now. Uh, not, not really. I mean, we can tag team him. He points at Lasseter. Sounds like a great offer and all, but um, I gotta go check the forge. Um, I, I will get back to y'all on this. And just like hurry away. And he's like, "You've been mine. Come on, last." Thumbs up. And he uh, uh, runt, uh stumbles uh, with you as he uh, guides you down the stairs. It takes about like five ten minutes for you guys to get back to your room because you, you neither of you can really stand straight enough. Uh, uh, Ron's doing better, uh, but um, mainly because he's he's not suffering from uh, who knows how many beers uh, before this uh, fire belly uh, whiskey. Uh, and he, he, you get down to your room, and uh, needless to say, uh, clothes do not exist uh, within seconds of getting into the room. And the next thing you know, you're both passed out in the bed. Right. <laughs> uh, you you don't feel what's been inserted. The crad. <laughs> uh, you, you you are feeling some effects from the alcohol. You go maybe check on the forge. No 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 no. Um, I am literally just outside the lair. Oh, okay. That was just an excuse to get out of there. You're like, uh, 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 panic attack. Not, uh, uh, nope. That was too forward. That is not how I swing. Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so about do, do you peek back in or anything like after a few minutes or something? Like 10 minutes and like look bars there uh you see some of the you see jim jars uh playing some cards actually it looks like he's doing pretty good right now 
Um, I'm on fire. Yeah, as as I'm peeking in, I'm eating some of my jerky. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're, we're then I'll, so I'm assuming I don't see Lassiter or Rot. Nope. They uh, uh, you did did hear while you were outside, you did hear some some stumbling and some grunts and stuff, uh making their way downstairs into the dusty room. Is Borcat still on the uh table or bar, whatever it's called? Yep, he it uh, uh Crad will look in and sees the, the gold pseudo dragon kind of like uh, making sure the glasses are like positioning them in an order, and then somebody uh, kind of goes up to like grab one of the glasses, and he just kind of like squawks at him to kind of like like he's just bending the glasses like this isn't yours. <laughs> so then, um, he, he kind of looks around, and then you you see he goes into one of the glasses and starts drinking. <laughs> um. I'll fight and I'll go back to the bar and just sit down and just like that 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 escalated a lot. Oh my Pseudo Dragon looks up at you and goes <sighs> and just this gout of flame shoots out. It doesn't go oh, very you... far. It's not much of an effect. It's more visual, but you can feel the heat from it. Oh um control flames. Mm-hmm. I kind of just have it wrap around um, my hand and then just give uh, Borcat little scratches on the head. He just goes. Oh, I think we're going to call it quits on the drinks right now and um, kind of signal to Linda, like, can I just get some water? And uh, Linda brings you uh, a mug. Big, big old stein full of water. And then, uh, this hand, I, I bought the bottle, so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, um, put that in, uh, the bag of holding. Mm -hmm. like, just gonna, just gonna put this away for now. Just... One half bottle of Firebell at least. Otherwise, the day goes by uneventfully. And if uh, any, and it seems like nobody else is really doing anything besides Crad would be able to do something before he actually goes bed, bed. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was probably like in her time. If, if I wake up, uh, during dinner time, I'll get dinner. But yeah, you, than... you, you, you guys don't wake up. You actually got. You would actually wake up early the next morning. Yeah. Uh, the bar is essentially just shut down. There's like one. There's. Uh, it's not Linda. It's it's uh, somebody else uh, at the bar. Mil Mildergar, but he seems to be just there to keep an eye on things more than he's an actual and maybe give somebody a drink but essentially the tavern's closed he's just guarding he, he got I, the he got the night shift and i remember anything from last morning or afternoon or whenever that took place uh all you know is that you still have a Huge hangover. Uh, you kind of don't know where your amulet is, uh, but when you when you come up, you're there. You see a pseudo dragon still in the bar, uh, curled around a little old dragon scale. Oh, uh, grab it. Um, is he asleep? Oh, when you when you come even close, he just looks up at you, and he, he seems to be uh, happy with himself. Okay. Um, take the amulet, put it around my neck. Do I feel better? Uh, no. 
You still have the hangover sense. Okay. Uh, it, Linda isn't there, but the other guy is. Did I ever learn his thing? Uh, probably not. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think you've ever been up when he's been on shift. Um. Hey, bartender. Yeah. Um, hello, I am Lasseter. I am a... Oh, God, words. You're a patron? Am... Yes, of your... I saw you come up the stairs. Assume that was... Was this your Pseudo Dragon? Yes, it is. Uh, I don't soon suppose that you could use some help cleaning around here. I'll do it. He, he he looks around at the bar, which is completely spotless. No. Well, anytime you need help around here, but really with anything, I'll, I'll help. Nothing else to do at the moment. Oh, keep that in mind. Need some water? Yeah. You don't look so oh, good. Yeah, sure. I'll take some water. Uh, give me a little, a little cup for uh, my friend Pseudo Dragon over here. Yeah, brings you a, a stein and puts a, a little like a shot, like, like a what's this? Those small, the short glasses that are wide. They're not shot glasses. <laughs> That's all I know. Like a, the, like he would drink whiskey from. <laughs> or a good bourbon. And he that. fills that up with water. Thank you. Little Borkad drinks from it. And I will wait for anyone else to come downstairs so we can start the day. Uh, a couple hours later, uh, Syra, uh, you wake up uh, feeling quite refreshed. Uh, you still wake up in your little messy, your your typical wake up state, but oh. uh, you now feel that... like uh, you've had the best sleep you've ever had. You know that scene from Encanto when Isabella comes down from upstairs and the flowers are all tangled around her. Did you see that? I have not watched Encanto. Uh, uh, there's a character that, like she controls like flowers and plants and she's like Miss Perfect making up for her horrible visage the day before she'll take extra I mean, you, time you still to... wake up in the the like flop around and everything but as it, but when the door opens all anybody sees is this perfect gorgeous oh, it's... <laughs> It's a Disney princess moment. Yeah. And with a little prestidigitation, right. there's all this... This there's look sparkles of flowers and... and sparkles as she goes upstairs to the tavern. La -da 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 -da. I'm, I'm safe from nowhere a bluebird flies by. Brad, <laughs> you, you, uh, you wake up to the smell of what smells like a cooking mushroom. And you just realize, no, that's just you being very hot against a, a little uh, Mykonid. He's not actually cooking, it just smells that way. Fire, just minor illusions of Blue Jay. <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> oh, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, sorry for my the way I behaved yesterday, just after that all-nighter. That's where you've been up for a couple hours already. That explains it. Uh, no problem. So, so what did I miss? We drank. Last year, did you, did you put the, the amulet back on, or did you just take the amulet off and like put it in your pocket or something? I put it back on. Okay. Or at least I tried. Yeah, you've been on. But you, it, it's just your headache didn't go away. Um. Uh, 
I, I I had a few hours to myself, right? Mm-hmm. Um, could I had tried to attune to it if it didn't like make me feel better? Uh, you attempt to attune to it, and you feel like it doesn't actually require attunement. Uh, because nothing has changed after an hour. After kind of like looking at it, just like touching it, and just kind of like examining it. You think the effects are happening, but that the effects are when there's an active state for it to suppress, but this is after effects. Like there was poison in the system, but the poison's just not there anymore. Okay. So you were able to sleep it off. Uh, the greater restoration probably helps speed up that process. Um, but your body is just still physically acclimating to its current situation. Uh, yeah, we just had fun drinking last night. I didn't really miss anything. Miss dinner, maybe, but... I am rather happy. Uh, uh, at this, at this point, uh, Lita, um, who has the morning shift, uh, the the breakfast shift, you might say. Uh, so there's Linda in the afternoon, evening, Lita in the middle, and then this other guy who you never ask his name for uh, uh, has the overnight shift. Um, uh, Lita uh, uh, says, "Well, lass, do you would you like to have a good?" Good water, Durgar breakfast. I can make you a full, full Durgar. Like a full English, except yeah. it's Durgar based. Yes. Eggs and beans. And... Yeah. yeah, it's a lot more like mushrooms. <laughs> a lot more fungi. And mix the among it. Uh, you do. It does have have more of the creatures from. Down in the Underdark. The Down Under. Um, I'm always willing to try anything at least once. So. But it is a sure, very hearty thing. Uh, uh, eggs. Uh, a um, mushroom loaf toast. Um, and uh, so different types of uh, sausages. And some oh. r- rossy bacon. Sounds like a good thing to me. How much will this cost? Uh, for for the full, or for the uh, full Duragar. Uh, the the Goldborn special, Goldborn's uh, uh, morning special, the Goldborn Slam. I don't know what do you want to call it, but um, the, I would say this is only like five silver. She'll, she'll put down a whole gold. Oh. Well, thank you, lass. Any oh, of you other lads would like a, like one of these? You could say that she just paid up. Uh, I'm still oh. taking a tip from it, though. Oh, of course. Do they do tomato juice? I'll pop down another gold. What's that? What's that? Don't pay too much for good food. food. I mean, tomato juice is hard to get down here. Sorry. Uh, I'll take I'll just take a potato. Potato. Yeah. Uh, could could you boil potato? Soften it. Do you just want boiled, or do you, would you like that full baked? I don't know about you, but boiled. Boiled potato, potato. That, like, do you want anything on top of it? You don't no, want. Any, just, do you want a seasoning? Do I, I mean, just want a potato. I'll give you a baked potato. How about that? Much better than just a regular boiled. A blend. If it, if it softens it up, it's fine. I'll take about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, some more water. 
Well, Gage and Holly uh, come out to grab their own full breakfasts. Like, hey, that looks good. So our no. lair is kind of like in the shopping district, right? Uh, it's just outside it. You know, basically, you don't have to go too far to to get to the Blade Bazaar. Uh, the entire district uh, does have a whole bunch of shops as well as some uh, more industrial uh, uh, locales. Uh, but this is primarily the Dark Lake district is essentially the trading di district of uh, Greckle students. Okay. A lot, a lot of exports with a few imports of things that I don't really have totally available here. Most of the food is is imported, although they do have some people that range out to grab some meat. Um, they don't really have any farms, so a lot of the vegetation um, is imported. Uh, some of it just from other Underdark cities or locales. Um, haven't seen any Mycanids, so you're assuming that they haven't been getting anything from the Mycanids, but uh, um, there have been plenty of uh, Smurf Neblin uh, that have been around, but most of it is Duraguards doing trade. You see, see more Duraguards leaving and coming back with other types of goods, so quite possible most of the goods aren't actually traded immediately here the but some Durgar have uh, they import things so there's there's companies for imports exports so gentlemen <clears throat> after after you're done eating what would you like to tackle for the day Well, there is still the business of the egg. And I believe we were invited to that shopkeep we saved the other day. Sid, he had something for us to do. Oh, really? What shopkeeper? Oh, yeah, the, we never... The one that we saved from the assassination. Whoops. Saved someone from an assassination? Right. Oh, yeah, so you weren't there. <laughs> Grad was not there. Want want. Uh, basically, we saved this guy from uh being assassinated, and got that part. He asked us to uh show up. When Who, did you get his place? To his place, to a place. Let's check. Um, I do not have the name of the place written down. <laughs> uh, Shattered Spire was what we were supposed to know. Yeah. Uh, Crad, you're, you're familiar with the Shattered Spire. Uh, it's a uh, tavern that's uh, on basically kind of like its own little island just off the, um, just into the Dark Lake. Oh, Okay. Yeah, it's uh, like a broken stalactite juts out from the dark lake about 40 feet from the shore. Forms the foundation of the tavern that with fungi stalks in a manner similar to a log cabin. A bridge woven by, of rothy wood allows patrons to wall. Excuse me. Allows patrons to cross the water to the feet. I've been there before. Right, I think it might be easy to get I think it there. might be interesting to uh, pay him a visit. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he could tell us more about why he was even targeted to begin with. Sounds like something to do. Unless, unless Karaj, you, you think that the, the egg is in immediate danger. Would I have any belief in that? You're not sure. Maybe this guy knows something about the egg. 
Who knows? Well, well we don't let's... have any leads. Well, let, let's head to the spire when we're finished eating. If you don't mind, I want to take a quick stop at the shopping just for a couple things. Sounds yeah. good to me. So, on the way, would there be any places selling thieves tools or disguise kits? Uh, maybe. Roll me an investigation check. Probably not hard for you. You say that. <laughs> it's all roll of 10. Uh, strangely enough, it was also not a very hard DC. Um, that you just have to uh, not roll a one <laughs> in your case. Um, uh, there, it, it, it takes you a while. Like as you're walking through, it probably takes about uh, half an hour to an hour to really notice that there is one merchant which is selling the basic adventuring supplies. Uh, it seems like they don't really have a general store or something that would sell these things. But there's this one little stall which does have it, and you can easily get uh, the disguise kit and uh, these tools that you're looking for. Um, the price is what, what it is on Dean to be on. Yeah, yeah. Base price is like, eh, things aren't much. Sold. That's my inventory. Now I can pick locks. Yeah. Uh, for Maybe. some reason, the uh, the merchant is like, I made a sale. Yes. <laughs> because apparently, adventurers don't really come through often. That's probably why there's only the one stall. Not very profitable. Yeah, uh, I'm going to take a quick break because I need to refresh my beverage. Uh, be, we'll be right back. Uh, just like two to three minutes. Um, and okay. uh, let me refresh my beverage. Uh, and anybody needs to use the restroom. It's a good time. back. Sorry about that. Everybody else back? I'm here. Okay, good. You <sighs> found my beverage. Anyways. 
make our way through the Dark Lake District and uh, let me just. Uh, as you're uh, walking along, the uh, uh, what looks to be like five working mercenaries, uh, they're sitting around a caravan, seems to be uh, uh, carousing or something. And... Um, they say they start uh, pointing and and laughing at you all. Okay, it's offensive. Uh, are they causing any trouble? Um, they seem to be rather rowdy. Uh, as you pass by, um. Uh, can I have Holly make a, a deck save? Do we see this coming? No. Womp. Well, um, yeah, they see coming. Yeah, uh, Holly trips, uh, as, uh, is it? Uh, and uh, one of the orcs uh, is standing right there. Oh, I'm so sorry. I accidentally did that. <laughs> oh, no, it's high school all over again. Uh, did, did, it, did it look like he did it on purpose? I know he did, but... Uh, with your passive perception, yeah, he, it, it, he, he was looking another way, but he definitely stuck out his foot in order to trip Polly. You oh, said, okay. um, like, are they sitting around a fire or anything? No, they're just kind of like uh, loitering on the street. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll uh, rush in to help Polly off the ground and. I'll say to the guy, uh, um, "Oh, that that's all fine. Uh, um, we're just passing by. No need for uh, to make trouble over spill milk." Ollie doesn't look very happy, I and mean, she's her hair sure. is looking a little bubbly, like she's getting kind of angry and uh, looking at the the orc. Holly, there, there's no problem here. See, you're, you're all clean. Uh, I'll pres, present digitation her. Um, it's all clean. And yeah, we'll be off. She's she's looking a little purple. Usually means she's getting angry. I'll get out her way. Yeah, she... Uh, Pulls out her axe and uh, actually, kick, uh, Holly, can you can Holly roll a uh, uh, a an intimidation check? Uh, the orcs look at, at her with her axe, which she just kind of like puts over her shoulder and just kind of glares at them, and uh, they kind of like. And they just kind of like turn back around. Well, he just reacts back away. Or don't it? <laughs> and you continue. 
as we continue, um, but before we are like on the edge, like sixty feet away, mm -hmm. I'm going to subtly cast create bonfire right underneath them. Ooh, uh, are you sorcerer point subtle cast? So there's no verbal semantic material component, so they have no idea it was me doing it. Uh, suddenly, suddenly, you hear uh, from behind the behind you. Ah! Where did this come from? I love mana magic so much. Uh, we all hear that. You look around, it looks like a bonfire had just or some somehow appeared next to where the orcs were standing. I feel like because of the sorcery point being used, maybe like if you would have seen Crad's face, even though he was walking away, like, there's no outwardly like spell casting, but his eyes might have grown a little bit. Uh just Tapping into that magical weave and all. Uh, after hearing the screaming, the crowd like <laughs> kind of like lightly crack a smile. Just, <laughs> just slight little cackle, like just under the breath. That probably oh, lasted or heard because of its freaking uh, passive perception and all <laughs> being what it is. Must have splashed some alcohol into the fire. Nothing big. Oh no, this, we're like 60 feet away. There was no fire like a moment ago. Yeah. Oh. I literally did um Yeah, I know what happened. Uh <laughs> I'm just trying to think yeah. of it and Lasser's meme. It's just for fun <laughs> funsies, roll the damage. Uh I mean... Not bad. Oh, shit. And against, I guess, against my DC, it's a 16. We just see. Nope. <laughs> if you look around, two of the orcs are just seared. <laughs> They're quite crispy. <laughs> They're still alive, but they look awfully hurt. I love uh, sorcerer. Uh, I love sorcerer. <laughs> well, um, Sarah, I kind of, kind of give you a little, a little glance and just kind of wink at you, like, "Oh, I hate when that happens." <laughs> uh, uh, you, you guys, go while make sure these guys don't die. I guess. Oh, they'll be fine. I don't think so. One, two of them are like on fire, beard. You see, um, you see, for uh, uh, Dorgar, uh, pop into existence, come around and like start patting out the flames, and ask what what happened here, and all the orcs are like, I don't know, it suddenly appeared. They look around, and, and, and as far as they could tell, nobody's done anything. Does like, it look like they need help? Uh, nah. Two of them are badly burned. They'll be... They're, they're, they're... alive. Every, all of them are alive. It's... Well, they, they, were, they were a bunch of bullies. They're fine. Exactly! I mean, they'll recover. Uh... Onward to the spire. Uh, you make a way across the um, woven bridge, uh, which seems quite sturdy or be made from wool. The description here just kind of baffles me, but hey, it's, it's made so, of wool. Yeah, so, so a broken slag bite juts out from the dark lake about 40 feet from the shore, forming the foundation of the tavern built from fungi stalks in a manner similar to a log cabin. A bridge woven of rothy wool 
allows patrons to cross the water to visit. That's some sturdy wool. Does it look like wool? Uh, I don't know. Do you know what a Rothy is? No. A Rothy? I don't know. Correct pronunciation, but R O T H E with an accent. Does it look trustworthy? Wait, let me dig it. Uh, well, it. it, it, it yeah, it looks like a yak. People cross this every day, I assume, so... I guess we'll cross it. I'll cross it, at least. Wrong cat. Here we go, I got it. That's a Rothy. Oh, yeah, it's like a buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo yak type. But it's still wool. These magical beasts resemble musk oxen. I'm guessing because of the fact that they... What What is that animal that it's in compared to? In compared to? Oh, cool. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Like with wings. Because it's a 3E oh, that's, version. That's, that's supposed to be like a trussing? It Maybe. It's like a like, winged cat. Then it's probably about as big as a cat. Does it say anything special about its wool? Um. Nope. I'm not seeing it. Okay, I, it's I that, think... yeah, it's a magical beast, um, and the deep broth, uh, the subspecies communicates with magical flashing lights in the underdark. It it's magic. We're fine. Yeah. Guessing has ex I would say it has extra sturdiness due to the fact of it being a magical creature. Syra will will see this like hairy bridge. Kinda of like tap her foot on it to see like hmm. Well it seems sturdy enough. Start her way across. Yeah, how about you go first? Brad's crossed it before, I'm pretty sure. All right. It's weird. It's just kind of like one of those like uh, a rope rope-ish bridge. Um, but it seems quite sturdy. The leather, the, the cords that are uh, holding it together seem to be uh, quite sturdy. Okay. Safe enough. Huh? Make my way across. Alright. If you make it across, then you get onto this broken off stalag mic. Giant stalagmite, and so you can easily enter into the little log cabin, well, large log cabin, because it's a full-on tavern, uh, full of dar of of all sorts of underdark species. We got orcs, we got Urgar, we got uh, uh, deep gnomes. Gnomes, uh, you do spy the occasional drow. Um, and a few other odd Kuatoa. Have we seen Drow Drow since we uh left the I I guess Drow area? I don't know what. Uh, you haven't is, seen but... many of them. Um, you, you would take it that the drow aren't necessarily welcome in this area as much. Uh, there has been a few people, a few drow that have been here, but it's very few and far between. Okay, we are looking for Wurt Salt Baron. In 
in a, a quarter, you see the sea works. E E R Z Altberry, um, uh, sitting at a table, um, drinking a mug mug of ale, and he sees you all and kind of waves uh, for you to all, all to come over. Uh, hey, Sarah. there you are. Hey, here we are. Uh, She'll. Let's see. Uh, this is our Sarah will, will kind of wave back to him, but she'll kind of look around to see what everyone else's reactions is to us arriving. Uh, We're very out so of place. It doesn't seem like you get a few glances, like who just entered. Uh, but other than that, nothing special. Okay. Uh, go up, to, go up to the table and says, "Hey, uh, who's your uh, muscle-bound friend?" He's dead. This is our new friend. <laughs> wow. 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 That just... Bam, he's dead. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's a matter of fact. Just so it's nonchalant. Just no nonchalant. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> sorry. He, <laughs> he met a terrible fate. Um, <laughs> this is our new friend. <laughs> the 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 moral sol- soldier is having a hard time processing this and just kind of like stumbles over everything. That's that's what I'm taking from it. I'm so sorry to hear about that. On that positively, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I did want to pay you back, but I didn't have anything on me or anything. Uh, uh, but it, I actually do have a job. But first off, uh, pay, pay me back for for saving me. Uh, here, he pulls out, he pulls out a bag, and he puts on the table and in front of each of you uh, a um, black gemstone. Would I recognize what this is? Uh, that would be it's obsidian. Oh. It's, these gemstones each probably are about 10 gold pieces each. Uh, I'll take mine and like knock it against the table. And, yeah. and he, he like he doesn't give one to Crad. Uh, because like, uh, I have this other one. Uh, uh, well, I'll, I can't I'll, give it to him if he's dead. Um, I'll take it okay. and then give it to Crad. Um, anyways, uh, you guys are outsiders, right? You're not going to be here for much longer, I'm assuming. I mean, most of us are. Uh... Great! Uh, I got a job for you. Really need you to deliver something for me. Uh, I need you to take uh, this sack and he pulls, puts up this big old sack that's just all tied up. Everything. I need you to take this to Kazook Pick Pick Shine and Blinged in Stone. No questions asked. Just need to deliver it. And you'll be paid handsomely. I I understand the whole no questions thing. However, we don't know where Brigand Stag is. Linden Stone? Oh, yeah. Where, where is that? I, I looked for it in my map. I... Alright, so I, I, you pull up your map. You see, uh. Yeah, I forgot about this thing. And give it time for load in my end. There you go. So you're here. In Gracklestug. Linden Stone is up here. Okay. Uh, so you need to, you could probably go to Oh. It. Uh, now, I see most of your surface dwellers. So, if you're trying to get to the surface, Blinded Stone is even a, is a great place to see if you can find somebody to help you get up there. Oh. Uh, it's a win-win. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. 
one one question not about the uh deal or offer or whatever, but uh did you know Droki? Droki? The, uh I don't know, Droki. I mean describe it to him, maybe I could figure it out. Uh no no prop no worries. Uh, he's no one important. Alright. Uh but yeah, we'll we'll do this. Uh uh did you have a time frame? Uh, just, just as soon as possible. No questions asked. No oh, oh, questions asked. Right. Uh, we're going to have to like talk about this first. Because like, we're teammate, We're teammates. You know. Can't. Understandable. <laughs> I'm just uh, offering you a job. Definitely be paid upon delivery. Uh, yeah, want to go over to like a dark corner and talk, or talk out in the open, or what do y'all say? What? Do you... Zyra, Holly, Gage. Gage is like, well, if we can't get to the surface from here. And then stone sounds like another another option. We lost the there, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, I was just like my voice wasn't coming through. I was like, how come no one hears me? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, I, I've said the same thing like three times. And like, Is this not working? Oh. Anyway. What were you saying, Sarah? <laughs> no, I was gonna say, I was just saying who What's the name of the person we're delivering it to? Kazook Pickshine. Kazook. I'll put it in the thing. Kazook. <laughs> yeah, he has a stall in what's referred to as the Trader's Grotto. In Blingdenstone. Hey, if you have a Snorfedlin in your party, they might be able to help you. What? If you have a Snorfedlin, I mean, it's their hometown. They might be able to, able to help you get there. Get inside, show you where the stall is, all that. I'm sorry, I'm still writing. <laughs> well, we don't have a Smurf Evelyn. Lassiter will remember that you, and Lassiter and Cyro will remember that you do have a, a Smurf Evelyn in your party named Jimjar. Oh, that's the other name for a deep note. Oh. So I would have known that, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, oh, that one person. Yeah, I think while while you were uh, drinking, you probably did become familiar with, with some of the NPC. Uh, Jim Jar, of course, being uh, having a bad gambling habit. Uh, I'm sorry, what's special about these guys? Blindenstone is the home city of the Smurf Nebula. Oh, okay. Did uh, Jimjar ever mention blending? Blending. Blending stone? Yeah. Yes. Blending stone. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that, that sounds pretty convenient I mean, for us. Actually. I mean, it was, uh, at one point, it was raised by by uh, the drow from Menzo Berazon, but <laughs> I don't know. I think they've, been, they've got more security there now. I... Or the, the reward. 
I think if it's some lead to get out of here, that's more than worth it. Yeah. Kind of starting to feel like this place is our actual home. <laughs> you say that and Sarah gets this, this look of like <gasps> this horror struck. Like, never. <laughs> I miss my my soft bed, my my, my my true beautiful home. This place is so dreary, so dark. The <laughs> thoughts of an innocent young Mykonid appear in your head. <laughs> What's wrong with this place? Ugh, it's just as you say, as you're in my hometown. I know that. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's uh it's not what I'm used to. Let's just keep it like that. <laughs> so it's agreed. We're taking the job. Uh I say yes. Rad, you have a say in this too. You're a part of the team. I have no reason to say no. Okay. Then it's a yes. Um, wave back over to the uh, works guy. Um, and tell him that... He's, he's kind right. of pointing at the back. Huh? 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 Make some money. Excellent! Yeah, we'll Oh, we'll just come over and like grab the bag. Shoulder. Did I'm not saying this out loud. Did he ever say don't look in the bag? Nope. Cool. He just never said what was in the bag. You do yeah. hear hear some <laughs> sounds kind of like a some sort of tone. If no one says anything about it, I won't until we get privacy. I I plan to uh, identify it. <laughs> it looks like a bag. You identify it. It's a bag. Well, I mean, I would assume you can identify what's in the bag. I mean, the the bag seems like it's secured shut, but it's not like locked or, or like you couldn't easily open it. All he wants is you to take the bag and what's in it. Your kazook pick shine, lignin stone. Simple job. Uh, okay. Uh, whenever we're not in earshot of work I'll ask uh, Brad if he knows anything about this guy works but I know or maybe his friend I mean or, well here's here's the question would you you pretty much haven't You haven't really socialized among the merchants or been much around the merchants. Like maybe you've had the occasional delivery you've made uh, to the Dark Light District, which is some of the reasons that you stop in the Sh Shattered Spire. Um, you may have seen him before, but you know, I don't think you've ever really met him. You did. And you haven't really heard anything. I mean, what, here, roll me a history check, just for funsies. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, so you've definitely heard of Fort Salt Baron. Uh, you have heard some stories um, that, uh, because he's actually not the head of mercantile guild that he's a part of um but he seems to be trying to make some money on the side it is quite possible based off of the rumors 
um, which have been few and far between, but you, you've you've run into a few um, where you've heard that he's trying to to make some money under the table, going around his boss. It's not necessarily like awful or anything. Like these stones probably were originally intended to go somewhere else, but he's sold them to somebody else, or sold them to somebody else. He just needs somebody to deliver them. Eh. Eh. It's, it's kind of like one of those. Mm, not really, maybe a crime, but not really that much of a crime. <laughs> yeah, didn't really expect anything. I was just trying to make sure. You know, didn't want to sell to some uh, bad people, you know. Would anyone be against peeking into the bag? I mean, if we're carrying it all that way, nice to know at least what's in there. Do you want to do that just outside? or? Well, no. You know, I'll, I'll wait till we get back to the lair. Yeah. Right. Easily able to get back to the lair. If anything else happens, put all on the floor. <laughs> Not really. Don't dump it. Please don't. Do it. Oh, here we go. Um, you, uh, as you're walking, walking down the street, you do see, see a, uh, you do see a Smurf, uh, Smurf Neblin. Smurf, I can, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it exactly right, but Smurf Neblin. Uh, she's walking around with what looks to be an Earth Elemental bodyguard. Uh, uh. Uh, Brad, who's that? Well, I don't know. She looks important. She has a bodyguard. She seems you know to be looking can... around for something. Uh, does she look lost? Yeah. Um, she does look a little confused. Anyone else want to uh, no? Okay, uh, I'll go ask her. Hey, uh, are you are you okay? He looks at you and says, "Huh, you're the one I need." Uh, hey, uh, that looks right. Hey, um, so uh, I got in this bag. She kind of like shakes a bag, but it doesn't make any noise. Um, uh, uh, I have I have some garnets. Some ten of them. I want them to sell them to you. Sell so what? Listen, I got some gems. You yeah. get rid of them. Oh. And I'm willing to sell it, sell you to him. I mean, it's only a thousand gold pieces. They're that hot. She, she kind of reaches in and then just kind of like around, kind of like shuffles so that the and the bodyguard just kind of moves into a view, and she kind of like pulls out of her bag this sparkly garnet. Just this large garnet. Does she, does she seem like she's trying to keep it from the eyes of everyone else around? Or yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is. She's clearly really trying to be like, and she's kind of like, like looking around. Yeah, this is good. These are worth uh -oh. about a hundred gold pieces each. I'll send it, sell it to you at cost. I am willing 
to go lower. But it's all or nothing. Uh, Sarah will kind of tap her money bag. Is like, well, I'm kind of dry at the moment. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, where'd you get these? Uh, uh, does it really matter? No, not really, just would like to know, uh, like, general quality of these, uh, beautiful rocks. I mean, want to touch it? You can examine it closer. Sure. I'll take you, two. No, she's just just like giving you oh. one. Yeah. Yes, it's on sale yet. She's she's showing you what the rest of what her merchandise. He's yeah. showing is, you her goods. It is sparkly. It looking at it. Um, Give me, give me an intelligence check. Everybody? Anybody can. I'm assuming you kind of gather around. Uh, that's a really shiny one. Uh, Crad, um, actually, roll that with advantage, Crad. Uh, Syra. Okay. Oh. Um, Crad, you you could you feel like yeah, this is the real thing. What she's saying is real. Much more beyond that, uh, and you're not sure. But it, this is definitely a big sparkly garnet. Uh, Syra, you would estimate that this one garnet that there, that she's holding is probably worth a good hundred gold pieces. Willing to go lower to make a profit off it. I, for one, am definitely interested in uh, buying these off of you. Um, however, I myself do not have a thousand gold. Well, what would you offer? I, mean, I got ten of these, so and they're worth probably about hundred gold pieces each, which is a thousand. So I'm either at cost or Willing to go lower, depending what you're offering. Uh, yeah. How how about you sell me those for uh half of what you're asking for? I'm using suggestion. A wisdom save. Yeah. Where did it go? Oh. Wisdom fifteen. She Does fell. my amulet, uh, not not the uh, uh, alcohol amulet, but um, mm. one? Does that do anything for this? I don't think so. No, it does not. Bell attacks and saving throws. I guess. Fifty gold pieces each. Five hundred gold pieces. Yeah. So. Oh. Uh. Uh. Hey, does anyone have a hundred gold? I could like 49. <laughs> I'm tapped right now. I look to Holly and Gage. Get up to. I spent all my money on spells and tips. <laughs> If if I knew no one else had gold, I would have just said four. And All right. He says, um, last one, how about this? How about if we go have these? Oh, yeah, that that would be perfect. All right. So he'll put in 250 gold. And uh, what's your name? Not Gage. Gage. Not, not Gage. No, no, no. But... Damn. This is for that point. Uh, Ariana, things doing business, and she, she's like, you got some, put this in. 
Uh, and she pulls out like a couple more, <laughs> and oh, they're wow. beautiful. I was just gonna <laughs> check the whole bag. Big. He's like, nope, bag's not for sale. That's for me. Oh, okay. Two hundred fifty gold removed. Ouch. Takes your gold. Make the transaction. I'm assuming these would probably be put into the bag of holding that Brad has. Yeah. Originally Roderick, so still party loot. So now you have 10 sparkly garnets worth 100 gold pieces each. I feel like we just got ripped off, but... Uh, nope. Uh, 10 times 100, it's 1,000. You paid 50 gold for a half. Uh, so if you sell these... At, co at cost, even. You're making 500 gold pieces. Like, as you're do, doing business with you. Yeah. <laughs> and she, she walks off. Hey, guys, we got gems. Hopefully they're, they're worth what, you, what she said, at least. Seemed like they were. Yeah. Why did I buy this much? I don't know. But hopefully. I mean, look at how they sparkle. I mean, if I had the money, I would have bought it myself. Yeah. Cyra Cyra's eyes probably turn into like big <laughs> dollar sign slash uh, uh, the basically the whole cartoon like. Cha-ching, uh, except probably in, 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 like, versions of these beautiful garnets. Well, well, we should probably be sure to sell these at some point. Well, if you'd like to go do that, I, I'll uh, take this other stone and see what I can make of it, or whatever is in this bag. So are you going to go see if you can uh, hawk the uh, garnets? Suck at negotiation. Or, or are you going to probably wait? Because she seemed a little sketchy. Yeah, I'm going to wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, she said she said they're still hot. So I imagine Lasser would know what that means. I mean, roll me an insight check. Uh, you, you kind of get from her she was just trying to like it's possible that her that the person that she was trying to sell to isn't around right now and he, uh, it, just not in the bazaar anymore <laughs> for some one reason or another which may mean probably was smuggling something in <laughs> Maybe uh, she came from um. Probably thought you guys would... were smugglers too. <laughs> oh, well, that, that that's fair, I guess. Technically, we. Oh, well, we kind of are now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, it seems we're... sketchy in spy cred line. Uh, I mean, we're, we're already trying to sneak one item to another place. I don't think we need to hold so much contraband. We're gonna we're gonna hold on to these uh for a minute before we sell them. So let's let's get back to the place and figure out what's in this bag. Then we can figure out the whole egg thing. Alright, so you get back to the lair. Uh I'm assuming you guys kinda go back downstairs to one of your room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe Syra takes the bag. Siren and Holly go into Cyrus room and I'm gonna bag. be gonna find uh what's his name? Uh Jim Jar? Jim Jar? Right. Mm -hmm. Uh he seems to have just won a hand. Uh he's got a big pile of gold in front of or coins in front of him. Hey, hey Lassiter, what's up? I'm doing well. I'm on a roll. 
I'm proud of you. Okay. Uh, good job. Got a uh, question or something? Yeah, we kind of. Hey, need you know your... what, guys? You know what? I hate to say this. I would love to keep playing, but my friends, like he needs me for something. I'm gonna just go ahead and cash out. I know, I know, you wanna win some of this back, but you lost it fair and square. I'm just gonna take this. I'll probably be back later. Don't worry. Don't you? And he's like taking all the coins and putting them into his coin purse and, and says, oh, "Okay, that's it. What's up? What can what can little Jim Jaw do for you?" Uh, we may need your help up. I'm downstairs. Uh, yeah. Sure. Um, during our travels, we will be heading over to your hometown. I assume. We're going to Blindenstown. Great. Can't wait to get back there. You know, I know you guys probably want to get it to the surface. We, I could find, some, could help you out there. I could get you some, could hook you up to get out of here. I mean, don't get me wrong. Be great traveling with you. Great friends and everything. I find it hilarious with you in New York, but you know, hey, things happen, and, I, and I'm I'm happy for you. But in any case, what's up? What what are you? What's the big deal right now? You seem to be. Uh, something seems to be on your mind. What's going on? Locked up. Uh, Jesus, I'm sorry, Bahamut. <laughs> <laughs> Marishak. Oh. <laughs> Poor kid. Come downstairs. We're, we're meeting in yeah, Sarah's sure. room. Sarah, uh, so so you guys are heading downstairs. In the meantime, uh, Sarah, you and uh, Holly puts down the bag, opens it up, and uh, you're going to examine the gems. Oh, well, first I want to see what's in there. Yeah, there's a bunch of gems. Okay. Uh. uh like a particular shine or color or anything um, like that. It, it, they, they, it looks like to be a very, uh, there are varying types. Uh, they look to be in a raw state. Uh, so they are like freshly mined like sort of things. So right. they would, it to be used for like being used as for jewelry or something. Um, they would have to be polished up and, and, you know, jewel crafter would have to, to start work, do some polishing up on them. Uh, so, this is raw gemstones. It's interesting. It's like a freshly mined. Have you have you seen anything like this before, Holly? Um, he just shrugs. Like she doesn't seem to be a miner. Well, here goes something. I'll start the uh, identifying process. Okay. Uh, so while well, you're gonna ritually cast it, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Uh, while you're in the middle of your identified ritual, uh, Jim Jar and and Laster come into the room. Uh, he Jim Jar sees back. Oh, what's this? Oh, he picks up one of the gemstones. Says. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Where are you supposed to be taking these? Mm -hmm. You're taking a blinking stone. This, that makes perfect sense. Why? Well, I mean, it takes a little polish and some work to do, but uh, these could easily be turned into spell gems. Use them all the time in blinking stone. Why would someone want to secretly uh, smuggle them over there, up there? I don't know. Maybe somebody make, trying to make some, some money on the side or something? I mean, we could use these. We, as in us? Or... Uh, as in blinged in stone. I mean, because it, it would take some work. I don't know how, how it actually works. Like, I, I don't actually do it. Um, I'm just aware of it. Uh, I'm familiar. 
But uh, yeah, these are just, I mean, they don't do anything right now. Right now, they're just gemstones. But um, easily, just the, the little work here, a little book there, pull a polishing, a little spellcraft. Easily pop a spell into there, and it'd be gemstone. It's spell gem. Are they reusable? Do you know? Even if they're not, um, I would suggest. Uh, hey, how about we? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they are reusable. It's kind of like a reusable spell scroll. Why don't we keep a few of these to ourselves before we uh, smuggle some? I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if you would be able to do anything with them. I mean, these are these are raw. Uh, I mean, you you can put a you can try putting a spell on them, but they they're, they're not set up to be able to be, do that yet. Again, yeah. there's some work that needs to be done in order for it to be where you can actually put the spell into one of these spell gems. We could find someone to do all that for us, you know, or I don't know, find someone that knows how to do all that and teach us how. Yeah, you're probably what, doing yeah. and bling this time. Yeah. I mean, probably the best bet is, like, where are you taking these? Like, did, did they tell you where to take it? Take it to bling this stone, but where, where are you going to take it? Oh, damn. We never got a name. Uh, yeah, we did. One yeah, we did. Kazook pick shop. Oh, Kazook? Yeah, he owns a stall in the, the, the stone and bling this stone. Yeah, I know of him. He's an alchemist. We would definitely be able to get to craft these into to empty spell gem. Okay. Well, that's our plan. Uh, take gemstones to that guy and get paid. Yeah, I mean, I mean probably part of, part of being paid. You might be able to work out a deal to, to see if you can get a couple for yourself. Nuts. I'm like, you know, Thera's in her little trance and ritual, and she's like, I know what these are. <laughs> Just repeats everything that yeah, we've you, already said. You, you, you finish your cast, you know, they identify, and they identify as absolutely nothing but stones. <laughs> because they're not Eureka. magical right now. <laughs> these are like Eureka, raw materials. <laughs> uh, you actually would be able to be able to tell yeah the, depending on the type of spell you you have to use a certain type of gem so like uh if you just want like uh, one of those uh, uh regular uh, at will sort of spells uh you you'd need like an obsidian and there's like a lapis lazuli quartz bloodstone amber jade topaz star ruby regular ruby it's a diamond um, the, the, those higher ones, those later ones, uh, you, you'd have to be very powerful. But uh, anything that's like a obsidian, lapis lazuli, quartz, those are easy to get. Yeah, and you you see in there that it's a bunch of different gems. Um, uh, you do see some of basically everything he just lists off. There's like one diamond, star ruby. Um, and a lot more bits uh, of obsidian, some je some uh, lapis lazulis, quartz. Um, you do see some of the bloodstones. Uh, everything else, you like if you're shifting through the the actual bag. Um, uh, there's some of the others. Uh, right now, they're just gems. Uh, Jim Jar looking through the bag and saying, eh. You know, it's probably the total for this would probably be only about a hundred gold pieces for what's in here. 
Oh, that's fine. I mean, uh, if you sold it as is, I mean, that's as Belgians. Oh, that's going to put the cost up. Purpose yeah. isn't to sell them. We are just to get them to the guy and get paid. Hey, it's probably a good idea. Uh, well, I guess that's all we need you for. I'm going back uh, up and make myself some more money. Don't make them uh, uh, mad or sad too much. Hey, whenever I take these breaks, I take half my winnings and I put it away. I don't don't use it. Use the rest of the winnings to get more money. If I lose those, hey, at least I got the other half still. I already got myself about uh, uh, 200 gold. As long as you don't uh, lose the other half. Uh, I got a hunt. I'm putting a hundred away, and uh, I've got the other hundred for more, making more money. He just leaves him. That guy's gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> He's saving money. Of course, they, they, yeah, probably part of the part of his problems. He'll sit for quite a long time <laughs> playing <laughs> before he'll he'll take any sort of break. He's probably playing for several hours before you guys got here. That guy has a problem. You could say it's an addiction. Gambling addiction. Maybe. <clears throat> Alright guys, so what's the plan? Uh, shall we find info about this A? Seems like that's our last uh, little connection to this place. So, oh, where do we start? He had is correct. How much? I wouldn't know much about where to look, would I? Well, what you would know is that uh, all the investigations that the Keepers have been able to do in order to, to, to locate this has been where they can tread without making much of a fuss. Uh, and that is pretty much anywhere anywhere in the city proper. Outside of that is where difficulties lie. This includes going into the uh, cleft districts. Or the Wolfstone Caverns, which, as far as they're aware of, is only accessible through uh, the West Cleft District. Didn't y'all mention something before about tunnels? Yeah, there's a secret tunnel. Um, secret tunnel. In the Secret West tunnel. District that leads to this is uh Lassiter's player forgetting things. Well, you know there's the entrance that you follow Drucky, which is the entrance in, in the West Clutch district, but you did find uh, that there was an entrance near the docks. Ah, yeah. Um, like, right here somewhere. Yeah. That's... It was like, it looks kind of like a drainage pipe, but... You were that... able to clear the cable. <laughs> and, uh, went in and, uh, you captured an alchemist. Mm. Well, Luthrio. Maybe you turned him into the stone, stone guard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. And you said at least a tunnel system? Yeah. Big one. That, as far as we can tell. We didn't uh, go through well, the whole thing. We've only been able to search the city proper as keepers. We haven't been able to go into, like, Cleft districts and whatnot. Um, not allowed there. 
not welcomed. Yeah, not really welcomed there. Um, I guess the best bet would be to go look through these tunnels. Uh, would you say letting Chunky Boy know about this egg situation? Well, we'll go to him once there's information to give. When you give kind of like half information and stuff, kind of makes him irritable. So let's let's come with like full like this is what we found. This is what there is. We know where it is. What happened to it? And present that then just can I incite this I mean uh Krat, are you trying to be very deceptive no. okay uh, last one, just roll, me a, roll, roll, roll me an uh, insight check I, I know that you are with the uh well it doesn't matter <laughs> he's, a, he's he's i mean there's something you know he's not really mentioning something but he's a little not wanting to yeah All right friend uh let's uh find the egg or information about it and then we'll talk to chunky boy Are you no, actually a, a, a quick question. Are you actually saying Chunky Boy or are you actually saying Thunder Todd, but you're using Chunky Boy because you can never actually say his yeah. name? Uh, Lassiter is saying his name. <laughs> but I, I, I just want to be clear <laughs> because if you weren't, I, I don't know how Karad would, <laughs> Karad would uh, answer that, uh, uh, react to that. I assume, because I remember you saying that before, you were just going forward saying Chunky Boy, even though you're saying, your character's saying Thimber Charge. Yeah. I, I don't know why. No matter how much I practice his name, I can never get it. There, there's other names you can never remember, anyways. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely. Uh, but it's yeah, y'all. Putting it out wanna, there. <laughs> y'all want to go now or go. Well, that's... No time like the present. Yeah, it's probably about like. Now, second question: Is this a um, just primary group thing, or should we bring everyone with us? Primary group. Sir. Primary. Oh. There's too many NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. All right. Uh, do y'all want to take West Clef District or is it a secret? The, the tunnels, especially since if we go through the West Clef, we're going to have some issues because of me. Right. Part of me wants to test that, like, but I know it's not a good idea, so. Let's take the sewers. You'd be an idiot to try to test that. <laughs> I'm not the one that gets As a hurt. soldier, you may realize for the best of the crew, we would probably be best of the Secret okay. tunnel. Okay. Yeah, let's make it up into the uh, dry docks. Uh... Uh, uh, as you're uh, walking towards the uh, docks, you see, uh, four 
during our um, during our leading. Eight, uh, look to be what you would recognize as uh, good locks. Are those the little guys mm. that uh, look like Prince Darendil? Uh Nope, those are Qui Uh They look kind of like this. The uh, Grimlocks are wearing iron collars and manacles. Uh, they look very much like the um, collars and manacles that you were wearing while you were in Falcon Bells. Grad! Uh, just some more slavers. <laughs> Nothing new here. This is normal. It's uh, one of those days ending in Y. Who did you say were escorting these, uh, Grimlock? Yeah, just for Durgar. Are they part of the, the guard, or just travelers from outside? I mean, they're not part of the guard, but they may be citizens of Rackleskin. Huh. I didn't. No, uh, this was a thing. Correct. Is, is this is this normal? Yeah. Oh, interesting. You don't have slavery. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Master is like. Uh... Let's move on. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with the situation. Oh, just, I, I just don't understand what's going on. <laughs> um. Okay. Well. Uh. Not our business. Not our town. It's your town, and you seem okay with it. By the way, this is also me making up for roles that I was should have been doing in several sessions since we got to Dracula's <laughs> Dig. So I'm kind of catching up. Okay. A lot is happening all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, secret tunnel. It's it's peak market time. So yeah. <laughs> Have we ever? Seen... I mean, if you hadn't done all those things, yeah, it's possible that some of the guards might have just like, like, hey, these guys are make great slaves. But um, no, you're heroes. So yeah, we're able to avoid all that. Have have we seen Grimlock since we've been here? I don't think they... you have. I think that's pretty new to us. I don't remember seeing that picture. They, they look humanoid. I have not shared it, so. But they don't look like they have much uh, brain to them. <laughs> so. The de degenerated subterranean Grimlocks were once human, but their worship of mind flayers with the generations prowling the Underdark transformed them into a blind, into blind monstrous cannibals long ago. Ah, <laughs> eh. oh, wonderful. Not really slavery. It's more like uh, more like a chain gang of, <laughs> of prisoners. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Right. Anyway, Anywho. All right. Guess where we get to go? Secret, Secret tunnel. tunnel. Secret Secret tunnel. tunnel. Uh, right here. So I'm quite familiar with dwarves. However, uh. not with uh Durgard. It was right here. Where Roderick's token is. Okay. So uh, it's really in the room that's behind the door. Yeah. Grot, how's your uh sight down here? I have sight beyond sight. 
Cool. Uh, apparently, he has the sort of bowmans. I can see in the dark 120 feet out, so. Nice. It's sight beyond sight. I'll just uh, change it. that into. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Turn. I'm pulling this down wrong. Oh. Now, double checking the dragon to make sure it's working how it's supposed to. Yep, it should be. Do you see your Karad? Yep. Okay, good. So you guys, you guys really have come down the ladder. You, you open the door into the old uh, the alchemy lab, and then you walk through, uh, walk through out the door, and you're. So here we are. The tunnel. Invest. Vast tunnel system. To our um, north, there's rocks and more rocks. And if you look to our uh, east, you will see more rocks, and paths, and rocks. Mostly rocks, but there's a path. To. You seem the most familiar with this place. Sense anything? You sense anything? That's it. We could, uh, just choose a direction. Turn on. Yeah, we could willingly get lost. Sure, there's a bunch of this place that we haven't explored. It'd be fun. Um, not from here. Okay. I'm going to definitely say there's a range. Gotcha. So which way have you guys traveled before? Uh, side note, uh, a quick side note. There was uh, in the fungal pit that was in the uh, Grey Ghost area, there looked to be a small opening to the east where you would have to eat a shroom to get through. Well, let's see. Let's see on the map. We kind of went north for the most part. Looks like a little bit we didn't see points, but. Yeah, zooming out to like 20%. Well, maybe going east is better, since that would probably be something new. This door, that. That leads to this uh, leads to the um where we we came in through the tunnel. Ah. I I can see nothing after that. So. Yeah. Well, let's find our way back to the Grey Ghost area then, and go east, like you said. Okay. This will be something so new. just just to kind of get a uh, a better oh, my. area. This map. Oh, like this right here. Yeah, that's fine with me. But this yeah. is something new. Do we have any of the shrinking mushrooms? Uh, there's this plenty. Whole... Yeah, this whole pit. <laughs> whole pit has a whole bunch of different ones, and you can easily find one of the shrinking mushrooms. So, Grad, you probably don't even know what these mushrooms look like, but uh, nope. is Holly, Holly. You see Lasseter and Syra pick one of these mushrooms and just take a bite. Uh, for some reason, it says eat me on it. Uh, and uh, they eat it and it, they like shrink down to a small size. I 
will try to I'll get grab one. Brad an extra throw. What do you give him? A tongue of madness. Does it look like the one they ate? Uh, no. You're not gonna eat it. Uh, why not? It's, it's, it's okay. Never mind. I, I can't play that at all. All right. Uh, remember, moral soldier. Moral soldier. Moving back. Go back to the big map. I'll move you as to where you are. <laughs> oh, over here. here. So, cut off begin. Over here. And you see this little tunnel there. I think you can go from there. Lead the way. Assuming Holly and Gage are in front of the squishy yeah, I'm, people. I'm just yeah, I'm assuming you're they're taking point. The glass cannons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a decent AC, yeah, say. What's down here? Low of Ferris Res in these tunnels reveal sticky white strands clinging to the walls. Strands become more dense as you move further in. I'm not liking this. Nope, 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 nope. Spider webs, perhaps? <laughs> Never mind. La 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 la. <laughs> Something against spiders? <laughs> Set it all on fire. <laughs> Grab a sausage quick, just. <sighs> Okay. 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 But let's, let's just let's not, let's not go there. There. Okay. It's all cool. Do, 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 do. You see that uh, the webbing looks to be getting thicker towards the north, but not to the south. Perception Hi. check. To hear or see any kind of movement, or go ahead and roll me a per perception check. Oh, I say, 18. let's go south. Um, you do hear some noises coming from the north, like bug noises. <laughs> yeah, and some yeah. click clacks. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Right, let's go south. Let's go south. How about how about let's go south? Yeah, <laughs> she'll whisper to everybody else. Like, yeah, I, the north north sounds a little dangerous. All right, are you are you trying to be still, or is crowd being awfully loud? I mean, I I said Cyrus uh, no. whispering, but he he he's scared, so he's being a little loud. Oh, it's okay. They're probably just little bugs. Don't hurt you. Bugs don't make this biggest webs. Hmm. Well, we're okay. pretty small ourselves right now, so probably. Oh boy. Mushroom. Maybe we should scout before we turn back? Why would we turn back? Well, not, not turn back to where we were, but like, uh, change size again. Well, I have, I have a way to scout out in front of us. You, you do? You can only do it once a day. I do, I have arcane eye. You also have a uh, familiar, but I do. But he if he gets you. caught in the web and eaten, I'd be very upset. Uh, 
that. When did you homebrew a fire spell? Maybe. Why are you looking at? Would have got web of fl- fire. Oh, uh, kind of. That's all that I'm like. I like that. Actually, I think somebody hey. else homebrewed it, and I found it in the homebrew collection. I'm like, I'm it, take it, that it, it was actually created by Liam O'Brien. Oh. Uh, somebody actually like homebrewed it, so it's publicly available in D&D Beyond. Yeah, I was like, I thought that was his last name. Yep, that was Caleb Widowguest. Like, I like the spell a lot, so that's just like, I, I, it's here. I'm thinking yeah. it. <laughs> Go for it. Since my right. warp spell, are you, is are you, are you arcane eyeing backwards? Well, first, what's in this room? Uh, in that room, it looks like a bunch of mushrooms. It looks like the path opens up. Mm-hmm. Well, I can always see in 30-foot range. There is no limit to how far away the eye can move. Okay, so I can basically see the whole dungeon at some point. You can sure. scout everywhere. <laughs> yep. An hour. You think I should? Sorry, I was muted. Um, that sounds like a good idea, actually. Um, just uh, like sit here and let you do your thing. Oh yeah, sit oh, right yeah. here. This sounds perfect. Hey, we 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 gonna what? Uh, probably not right here, but, uh... Go down this way, because I'm curious. Yeah, it's Anything... more fungi. More fungi. Well, we have a pretty good idea of what's here, as far as danger goes. Yeah, uh, possible spiders? That would I mean, you could send the arcane eye back that way. If hovers. Mm-hmm. Do you want to send it? Oh, what the hell. Oh, what the hell. Why not? Uh, are you vulnerable during this time? Am I what? Are you vulnerable during I this time? I don't think it's like a familiar. No. Oh. No, it's, well, it's like I just... See extra. It, I see it might be a little, a little weird, but uh, I believe what we could use Sova. As you can see from Sova, right? Yeah. Although that's that token I can't see out of. It has to be the one that's. Uh... uh well. I should be able to, but it doesn't work. How many? Do, he's a sixty foot. For the the arcane eye is thirty feet. Thirty foot. Uh, uh, and then double check the other settings. Uh. And I is 30 feet. What I'm looking for. All right. Can you see out of it now? Yep. That one. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I see something. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. <laughs> so what I don't you like see? It either. <laughs> oh, hold on. Something that says Spider King. <laughs> King or kin? King, like royalty. So. Imagine. 
that you see this, but it has two heads. <laughs> Only uh, Sarah can see. That her. is a big nope. Burn I it. see Sarah just kind of like, like, you know, like, like guiding her, her arcane eye, and all of a sudden just kind of like <laughs> shut her for a second. You probably see two more. Uh, probably notice another one behind it. <laughs> she'll just be like, oh, oh there's. There's a two-headed spider up there, and a few others surrounding it. Sounds like mm -hmm. someone that we should not encounter. How about in this little cave? Well, it also seems like that uh, that magic that's giving monsters two heads is in effect down here too, or probably from the uh, ritual. Oh, a two-headed giant spider warped by uh, warped into a vaguely humanoid shape. Yeah. What it, what it means. In this room. Uh, the. the or description of the spider team. Okay. Uh, it's much more webbed up. Uh, you do see some eggs. Uh. Actually, you see quite a bit of eggs. Lots of eggs. Uh. It's definitely a nest. Hey. Run it. Run it all. Yeah. I'll <laughs> exposition all that to everybody. It, it seems like there's a whole a whole nest of spiders up there. What about in front of us? How about in this cave up here, just for the hell of it? Uh, a lot of webbing, a lot of a lot of spider eggs. Okay. Ah. Ooh, put the eye back over here. <laughs> Forget we saw that. Gives me the oh, jibby hibby. Yes, I'm wondering. Come on. Oh, mm -hmm. guess what happens up there? Actually, is on the map. No. Let, 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 let me give you a, a, a sova for, for this area for like normal size of things. This is why. This is one of those. It's a zoom in map. Uh, let's see. Here's it. Uh, or... Don't talk about so. I need a read. There we are. So. Here's the original chamber. Actually, not as many eggs, but then over here is where. Yeah, that's gross. No, <laughs> the whole the whole lining of that cave is a big a swath of white. <laughs> More than that. Yeah. Where you kind of came through, and then you exited down this way. Yeah, not a fan. Here, here's this one. Mm -hmm. Again, this is a regular cave, and then where you entered from the. So, just to kind of give you a better idea of the uh, makeup. Oh, I, I understand. <laughs> All, right. All right, so back to the original map. In front of us. Oh, so I'll put it up to about here. I'll move myself up. It. Just because I don't want to stay in one spot, because especially with knowing what's right behind us, I'm not feeling very confident. <laughs> oh, 
people uh, mentioned uh, to the rest of the group. Looks like he, uh, you see a swarm of centipedes. My eye or in front of uh, Cyro? Okay. I'll I'll kind of uh, wave to the group to get them away from that tunnel because yeah. You just see Crad just zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, also, do you guys eat uh, one of the ones that make you bigger? Because <laughs> you were tiny, you were tiny before. <laughs> yes. Now we're now we're normal again. Yep. Yeah. Well, I will point out that there's a small swarm of uh, insects in front of us. Doesn't look too dangerous. Well, now that we're normal size, we should be able to take care of them. Pretty easily. It's a few steps there and steps here. Looks like the path opens northeast or south. Uh, um. Oh. Burn that with fire. Let me just paw that shit. Just scorch her. She'll stand right here and she'll point out to the uh, southeast, like directly in front of me. I'm sure you can see it because you have a better vision than I do, technically. Do they look dangerous? Yeah. yeah they're like about 40, 45 feet away. I'll Again, I'm it. sure you can see because you have a better dark vision than I do. Yep, I see them move. It. Like size comparison. I mean, they're tiny. They're a nice swarm of tiny centipedes. Yeah. There's a bunch of them. Like enough to cover a body, or just remember this map is huge. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, it, oh it, actually, how... no, that's right. It's no, scale. Regular squares are big. <laughs> yeah. Um. So seeing that and just getting the uh, heebie jeebies, um, I am going to cast Arganzer Scorcher towards them. Yeah. Wait, let me see something. It has a little lesser range. Okay. So for me, I literally have to get right here. I'm assuming you're trying to not be noticed by it. <laughs> yeah. Just on like, I'll be like right here. So I will say this, it's passive perception is 8. So, passive stealth. <laughs> You're beating. Yeah, passive stealth is 10 plus whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm going to settle cast, uh, sorcery settle cast, make be as quiet as possible, Argans or Scorcher at it. Yeah. I'm going to need a deck save. 17. So, it'll take half this. You said 17? Yep. Alright. So, it'll take 11 damage. Fire damage. Or, so, yeah, 11. 11? So my, yeah. Because the 12 is halved. And then, because um, of my elemental affinity, it adds plus five. Okay, so so seventeen half. Well, no, the twelve, the twelve is from the damn the um, the spell. So that gets halved. The five doesn't because that's a an ability ah. that adds the damage on top. Of it. It's basically my um, agonizing blast cool. for sorcerers. Yeah. 
freaking awesome. As long as I do a fire spell, uh, do fire damage, I get to add plus five to it. All right. Uh, trunk of uh, crispy centipedes goes flying off. There's still a bunch of centipedes still there. And when you look at it, when it got cast, if people would like pay attention, it actually looked like Thumb and Charge's uh, head, like coming out of my arms and like going towards them. Just a little flavor. Okay. Uh, and that, and with that, uh, I'm gonna have to have Taz rolling. Sorry. I tried to get him with one blast, but that didn't work. Apparently, they're more sturdy than that. Well, she'll Stara will whisper to the group, like, just make sure we keep it quiet. I don't want to attract the, the spiders up there. Almost at the time. Eh, I should be quick. Not sure if we'll get very far. Um, it rolled twice for a uh, holly because of feral instinct. Okay. Just so you know why it did that. All right, I think we got everybody right. I believe so. All right, Lassiter. Uh, Brad just uh, sent off a, a fiery bolt of timber trod head uh, towards the centipedes. They kind of exploded into scatter, but it looks like there's still some alive. How much? noise would a sacred flame make. Yeah, much. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a sacred flame. Uh, so, uh... What's the DC? Uh, 14. Dex Cool, failed. Cool. A little bit of damage. Well, hey, guess what? Guess what? Uh, you kill them all. We're done. Oh, nice. I'll turn. <laughs> I probably could have just didn't need need an issue. Um, yeah. Uh, a little bit more time here. Uh, Continue our exploration. Did we, did we have to kill the bugs? Bugs are they dead. Gave me the, they gave me the heebie jeebies, so I got rid of them. Okay. Yeah. There's probably oh, plenty of more centipedes in the world. It's probably fine. <laughs> probably had a family of its own to get to. Poor I mean, thing. there was probably uh, uh, at least 22 of them in that swarm. The poor family probably had a family barbecue to get to. Then it turned into a its own barbecue. Poor things. I'm gonna move my eye a little bit north. Okay. Watching. Uh, move it, move it. While that's going on, could I just move up here? Yep, it seems safe. Now. Ooh, what is? There's a big worm. <laughs> All right, so northeast has a giant worm. Oh, a that. carrion crawler. We're just going to see what's behind him. Does it look friendly? It. 
That is not sure. How big is it? Uh, it's at least large. That is a nope. And keep going up. Keep going up. A long tunnel. Dear Lord. Or, or, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're not kidding about this being a big place. Huge. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this place. Oh. All right, how about we call it for right now? Because this is too much. <laughs> All right, so no, hold on. That's, that's a whole lot of tunnel. I, I, I at least give you a little bit. I might be able to give you a little bit of the description. Okay. But... Just tell me where to park. No. Okay, where where, where you are. By the way, going north is a lot of tunnel. Yeah. Oh, nope. That's uh, just another tunnel. And there was some. Nope. Uh, just the empty tunnels. But we can park it there for right now. And we get inside. We can continue exploring next time on Bears and Dragons. Yay! So yeah, going north there's so far is just one carrion crawler, but there's a lot of tunnel up that I haven't looked at yet. Uh, I did roll a couple more times to see if there was something else, but uh, nope, no encounters. Yeah, well, I'm it, just saying, like, is it as like far a, as it's... is it like a worm, like like a, how a tapeworm spreads itself in like people's intestines? I mean, like that. Or the big one. Like, is it stretched out in, like, uh, within the tunnel pass? Okay. Uh, no, um, the tunnel's bigger than than the worm for sure. Okay. But it's a lot bigger than us. <laughs> well, the scent of death. First, not to kill other scavengers. But yeah, so going north at least, there's a lot of little, sp like, smaller splitting tunnels. And... Uh, go. It yeah. looked like it was feasting on something. <laughs> go south. <laughs> well, Hopefully I'll remember what that's for. I mean, all right. I mean, uh, it is quite possible you need to go north. <laughs> you haven't finished going north. Yeah, I said I'm... I have to get through the carrying call. Probably won't be too bad, but. Deception. Uh, 